aesthetics. Right. But then there's also symbolism hidden in that, right. which communicates on a deeper level. And any kind of good logo will do that. Yes. It'll, it'll be recognized. The way I approach mental disorder from uh, 10 key areas, uh, philosophical analysis, psychological analysis, a physics analysis, a musical theoretical analysis, a linguistic analysis, parapsychological, uh, 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 psychopathological, a pathophysiological, a neurological approach, and a geophysics approach. And it was basically a one-hour discussion covering mental disorder from all these different disciplines. And today I would probably, probably like to, maybe an extension of it, or possibly see whatever direction this goes in for them. Sure, yeah, I'm down for that as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, um, I have uh, worked with kids in the past that had autism, mm -hmm. and uh, it, I never saw a case like, I never saw two kids that ever had the same kind of symptoms or, um, like, anything resembling the other child that also had a diagnosis with autism. There was always something new. Hmm. And so, like, do you have any theories on how this manifests in so many kids these days? Because it seems like, statistically, the numbers have been going up. I would probably use the X-Men analogy where um, it's, it's quite conspicuous that there, there's some sort of bio biological evolution occurring with the X-Men and no two gifts are identical but it's clearly the X-Men. So from that perspective what you find with not just neurotypicals but atypicals, no I'm not an expert in this area um, because my views are based from, uh, from a uh, self-referential, um, which is sort of subjective, and empirical analysis, psychological threshold. So you may look at, let's say a prime example is a FedEx, FedEx logo. But FedEx logo have like a sacred, sacred geometric shape ingrained in the logo. No, your conscious mind is incapable of seeing that, right? Yeah, so there's a logo that you're looking at, mm -hmm. and you know that it says FedEx, right. but then there's also symbolism hidden in that, right. which communicates on a deeper level and any kind of good logo will do that yes. it will, it'll be recognizable mm -hmm. to your conscious mind mm -hmm. but then it will also suggest to your subconscious what that company does or mm -hmm. some characteristic contained in that uh, in that pictorial pictographic representation yeah but a fascinating phenomenon with subliminal influences is you're unaware of it on a conscious level it's you're unable to depict this this is why they call it